I'm Christina Alexander with your Circuit News Update. Waverly Public Library's Reading Club Read Till You Drop, which focuses on young adult fiction, held their monthly meeting at the Fainting Goat this Tuesday. Emily McClemon, the assistant librarian at the Waverly Public Library, says this is a good way to relax and meet in an unusual place that might spark up other types of conversation too. The social aspect is why Scott Niles comes to the meetings regularly. Well, we've had a lot of members come and go, um, older members, younger members. It's fun to see how they read the same story that I read and come away totally different. <laughs> the club is free to join and for more information on how to get involved, contact Emily McClemon at the Waverly Public Library. There will be a few additions to the Wartburg animal family soon. Sulcata tortoises, the third largest species in the world owned by Professor Bechtel, have started laying eggs. The tortoises are currently off campus until the weather becomes warmer and the eggs are in an incubator. Professor Bechtel, who owns most of the animals residing in the Science Center, currently has three pregnant animals, two tortoises and an eight-foot snake. He says his love of animals started during his time at Wartburg. When I went to college here, one of the cool things I used to like to do is that they had a rodent area up on, I think it was first or second floor, and every day when I walked by, I used to open up the door and stick my head in there and take a look at the mice and the babies and that kind of stuff. The students should keep an eye out for little golf-sized eggs in sandboxes in the courtyard because the tortoises are ready to lay any day now. Bremer Avenue in Waverly has been under construction since April 18th. This is the last phase of construction of 18 new apartments in historic buildings in downtown Waverly. Paula Stevenson, a Waverly Downtown Development Manager, says the buildings involved in the project need a sprinkler system and the pipes in place right now need to be bigger. But not all shop owners are happy about this construction. There's not a lot of parking anyway down here, but with the streets closed off, it's parking's bad. It's, it's hard to get around. I think people are just kind of staying away from downtown a little bit. Construction should be done by the middle of June, which is when the traffic will go back to normal and the apartments be up for rent. A Wartburg coach is leaving after almost 30 years. While Monica Severson, the head women's golf coach and a former women's basketball coach, is leaving Wartburg, she will not be leaving Waverly. Severson is taking a new position in Thrive and Financial, which has made some of her golfers very down, but they say her coaching meant a lot to them. That um, has been special to me, to be on a team where we can all push each other and we all want to make each other better. Severson says that although she is scared for this next chapter of her life, she's thankful for many opportunities Wartburg has provided her with. From the Circuit Newsroom, I'm Christina Alexander.